I went into medicine uh, for a variety of reasons. Um, my path actually is not the traditional one. So um, I was a nurse before I went into medicine. Um, both my parents are in the or were in the health professional field. My childhood was involved in helping people and taking care of other people and I could tell that they were happy with their careers so I figured I would probably follow their footsteps. So throughout training I was always involved in looking at how does this affect the whole person. So because of that I chose rheumatology. Um, at the same time because it's also a chronic illness you have to develop basically a very good relationship with your patients. I tell my patients when I first meet them that basically I am your physician but all our decisions will be made as a group, as a team effort. So just because I give you that, a diagnosis doesn't mean that what I say is it, okay? So it's, it's a decision making process that involves both the patient and myself. Um, that's very important to me because I know that the more educated the patient is, the more involved the patient is, the more compliant they are. I had this um, patient who was basically running full marathons and half marathons and all of a sudden he was always active. So when he noticed that he started having joint symptoms and joint swelling, obviously that prevented him from doing his long runs. So it turned out that he actually does have rheumatoid arthritis. So he came to us, he came to our practice and he and I were able to come up with a basically a, a treatment regimen and uh, right now he is on a biologic, um, he is on a chronic medication and his back to running his marathons. So I'm actively involved in um, the Arthritis Foundation as well as the Sjogren's Syndrome Foundation. So I usually participate in our walks, our, an organization that's involved in going to the Philippines to help the um, indigent um, patient population there.